a special evening. And keep it rolling for my friend, great comedy writer and performer, this is Ian Kennedy. Get up here, Ian. Hey, I was digging that. Turn that back up. And we have your drinking drinkers. We're the drinkers. I am not drinking tonight because I am on Elka Seltzer Plus cold medicine and it is the shit. 8.30 in the morning, gotta be at the cast for 61st. Okay. <laughs> it's Thanks, okay. Thanks, Greg. Well, well, to be fair, I thought it was ecstasy. You know, I mean, that's what Brad said when he sold it to me. He said, here, take these two purple pills or the shit, man. That's what he gave me. I know. I, this is a lying sack of shit. What the hell? But I'm not high, but I am clear as a motherfucker. <laughs> well, uh, my day job is I'm a flight attendant. Oh. Exactly. And uh, one unsuspecting night, I find myself in the hotel business center on a computer, checking my MySpace page, because in the year 2007, that's all that we had. So, I am sitting there doing my thing, and then a flight attendant buddy of mine, who I hadn't seen in a while, comes in. He's like, oh my god, dude, I'm so glad you're here. Let's go to the strip club. Yeah. And Yeah, but I'm not a strip club guy. So I'm like, I don't want to go to the strip club. He's like, let's go to the strip club. And I'm like, fine, we're going to the strip club. All right, so on the way over, I tell him, that I am broke, utterly without cash. And he says, hey, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I'll even get you a lap dance. Okay, all right, so uh, we arrive, sit, have a drink. He's buying, of course. And in about five minutes, he hands me a $20 for my lap dance. He chooses a lady for his, and then makes a beeline to the back to get his party started. So I'm sitting there just watching boobies bounce, right? In about 15 minutes, I choose a lady for my very first lap dance. Yeah. All right, at 37 years old, what a loser, right? All right. But she, what she does, she takes me to the room and I sit in the little chair with my hands to my side because I had been told, if you touch the lady, you'll get the shit kicked out of you. And I was not in the mood for that tonight. So she turns on the song I'm singing now with my hands to my sides. She commences with the gyrating, right? And she says, you're from the US, aren't you? I said, why, well, yes I am, why do you ask? She says, well, you can touch me if you want to. Well, hey there, all right. Now I know why my body loves Montreal so much, there you go. But as for myself, I'm super paranoid and I think it's a trick. You know, with my luck, I'll start touching, she'll start yelling and the bouncer will come in. Start the pummeling. Steal my wallet, throw my ass on the snow where it's 20 degrees below zero in January. So, um, I reluctantly touch for about tw or two, three, four songs, okay? And then um, after it's over, she gets up, turns off the music, and uh, I tell her, thank you. Uh, it was quite enjoyable. And I hand her the $20. And then she informs me, no, honey, it's $40. Okay, then. Well, um, let's go to the ATM, shall we? No money there. Okay. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's find my buddy. He's the one with the money. Let's go see if we can find him. And my buddy is nowhere to be found. Okay, uh, miss, um, tell you what, <laughs> um, I'll just sit at the table, not move, not move, and uh, we'll just wait for him to finish his lap dances. Okay. Uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes go by and I feel the stairs of pissed off strippers and bouncers ready to kick my ass and ladies and gentlemen, sweating bullets, shitting bricks because the odds are extremely high that they will pummel me, take my wallet, and throw my ass out in the snow. So, at about minute 45, that's when my buddy comes dancing from the back. Hey, what's happening? All right. 
And so I grab him, give me $20! He's like, whoa, what's going on, man? What's going on? Give me $20, you asshole! So he gives me the $20, I slap it in her hand, and we are out of there. Okay, that was my time. Thanks a lot. <laughs>